friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Monday, it's a another meal prep day. I have three delicious recipes for you. I have breakfast, lunch, and a sweet treat that is so perfect for spring and as we move into summer. So if you're excited for another meal prep, give this video a big huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. I do a meal prep every single Monday where I share at least three recipes with you so you definitely don't wanna miss out. Check out the description box down below where you're going to find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories, really, really important to know where you should land every day to be successful and if you want to chat with me one-on-one -on -one, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions as well so check that out down in the description box links discounts to everything I shared with you in today's video as well as all of my other favorite things and of course my Facebook group are also down in that description box so check it out before you go so we have three amazing recipes to make so let's jump in week I'm making bacon egg and cheese biscuit bake so we're deconstructing a bacon egg and cheese biscuit and making it into a bake I'm excited for this I love having a good protein filled breakfast a well-balanced breakfast with carbohydrates protein healthy fats I will probably pair this with some fruit to round out my breakfast but for the biscuit bake you're going to need some eggs light shredded cheese, preferably a seven and a half ounce can of biscuits. Like I mentioned in my grocery haul, Target doesn't have those. So I just weigh out seven and a half ounces of this big can and then I cook up the remaining biscuits and Troy definitely eats those up. So ideally you would want a seven and a half ounce can or do what I do and just weigh them out. Cashew milk, low fat milk, almond milk, whatever you have on hand, center cut bacon and some salt and pepper. So the first thing we're going to do is get our bacon cooking. You can fry this up in your air fryer on your stove top. I'm just going to add that to a sheet pan, pop it in my oven at 400 degrees until the bacon is crispy. You need eight pieces. I'm just cooking up the entire pack because again, my husband loves bacon so he can have that and those leftover biscuits. So this is 8.2 ounces of biscuits. I need seven and a half. So when I go to assemble the casserole, generally I just cut one of these biscuits in half, discard that, and that makes it seven and a half ounces. Here are the other four that are going in the oven alongside the bacon. While the bacon is in the oven, we're going to crack eight large eggs into a bowl. We're going to add some pepper and salt and three tablespoons of whatever milk you're using. And then whisk that together until fully mixed. We're also going to cut these biscuits up into smaller pieces. I am going to discard half of one of the large biscuits. Chop these up into small pieces. We're going to add the chopped up biscuit pieces directly to the eggs. We're also going to add half of the cooked bacon and then give that just a quick mix together. We're going to spray a nine by 13 baking dish really well with some nonstick cooking spray. We're going to pop this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. I went ahead and removed the biscuit bake. We're going to put it back in the oven to finish cooking, but before we do, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of light shredded cheese and the other half of the bacon bits. And now I'm going to pop this back in for another 10 minutes until the cheese is melted and we want to make sure it's cooked completely through. Look at how amazing this breakfast casserole looks. I just pulled it out of the oven. This entire pan makes six servings. So it is quite 
a large serving for breakfast. Again, I'm going to just pair this with some fruit to make it really easy and well-rounded. So let's go over the points and calories of the breakfast bake. So one sixth is only six smart points on the blue and purple plan and eight on green, just because you do have to count for the eggs, 284 calories. So not bad at all for this breakfast. And again, pair it with some fruit or your favorite side for a perfect, easy, delicious breakfast. I'm making a one pot 30 minute chicken chow mein. I'm excited for this. I've been wanting another Asian inspired dish. Plus this is a great way to get in all of your veggies. You're going to need a bag of coleslaw. This is just a tricolor coleslaw with carrots. You'll also need some additional carrots, sugar, snap peas, chicken stock, chicken of course. This is the thin sliced chicken breast. We're just going to dice this up. A bell pepper. The recipe calls for a red one. I have this green one that needs to be used up so I'm going to do that. Crushed red pepper flakes. Pasta. So of course I'm using a fiber gourmet pasta. This is the light linguine. You guys already know this is my go-to pasta. You can have two ounces of pasta for only a hundred calories versus 210 of traditional pasta that makes two ounces dry of this two points versus five to six points so it's a great way to save a lot of points and calories not to mention it has 25 grams of fiber which is your complete daily intake of fiber so that's amazing that it is in the form of pasta versus just two grams in traditional pasta 17 net carbs versus 41 and a complete seven grams of protein. So I love the fiber gourmet. I buy this off of Nutrition. I find that they are the most affordable. They have the biggest selection and they have all four shapes that the fiber gourmet pasta comes in. So I'll make sure that is linked down below for you. You'll also need some soy sauce, some hoisin. I'm just using this mandarin orange sauce. I have this in my fridge and it needs to be used up. Minced garlic, cornstarch, and some oil. We have lots of chopping to do. I am going to cut the ends off of the snap peas, dice up the bell pepper, dice up the carrots, and dice up the chicken. because everything is going into one stock pot. I am going to add a tablespoon of oil and get this warmed up. Once the oil is warmed up, I'm going to add in the diced up chicken and we're going to allow it to cook almost all the way through. Now that the chicken is just about done, we're going to add in that big bowl of all of our veggies and cook it for two to three more minutes until they've softened. Once the uh, veggies are pretty soft, they're still a bit al dente, we're going to add in some crushed red pepper flakes, a big heaping scoop of minced garlic, and some ginger. Stir that up and let that just simmer for two to three more minutes so that those flavors can melt together. We're going to add in four cups or one carton of chicken broth, one quarter cup of soy sauce, and one quarter cup of hoisin sauce. We're going to bring this mixture to a boil before we add in our pasta. We have come to a boil, so we're going to add in the bag of fiber gourmet pasta. I reduce the heat, I'm going to pop the lid on it, and we're going to allow the pasta to cook al dente. My pasta is cooked, it's still a little bit al dente, which is exactly how I want it to be because it is going to continue to cook a bit, but I'm adding in a slurry of one tablespoon of cornstarch and one tablespoon of warm water. I just mixed that together, and it creates a slurry which will thicken up the chow mein. So it has thickened up quite a bit. I'm going to remove it from the heat. We'll package it up for the week and go over points and calories. So I'm going to divide my chow mein into six equal containers since it makes six servings. My 
chicken chow mein looks absolutely incredible. I divided it out into six equal servings. It is only three points on the blue and purple plan for this entire bowl and five on the green just because you do have to count for chicken. 235 calories. So very low point, very calorie friendly and a fantastic way to get in all of your veggies. strawberry oatmeal cookies. Well, really chocolate covered strawberry oatmeal cookies. Five ingredients, super easy. You're going to need some rolled oats, two large, really ripe bananas, peanut butter or almond butter, fresh strawberries and chocolate chips. These are the Lily's chocolate chips. I'm going to chop up a few strawberries just into smaller chunks. We want about a quarter of a cup to half of a cup. Very easy to put together. We have a bowl here. We're going to add one half of a cup of peanut butter or almond butter, two cups of rolled oats, two super duper ripe bananas, a medium to a large. I have two pretty large bananas here. One quarter cup Lily's chocolate chips and our diced up fresh strawberries. Now we're just going to stir that together, kind of mash the bananas as you're stirring. Make sure that peanut butter gets mixed in really, really well. I went ahead and sprayed a baking sheet with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we want 16 cookies. So I'm using this tiny little cookie scoop. I bought this off of Amazon. It came in a three pack. If it's available, I will link it for you guys. The last couple times I've shown it, it has been unavailable. But if it's there in Amazon, I will link it for you. So I'm going to scoop out 16 cookies. So I ended up getting 25 cookies instead of 16. So pro tip, you can definitely make your cookies bigger to get 16, but I'm just going to recalculate points and calories. These were already low point, so they're going to be extremely low point. And this is still a pretty good size cookie. So I'm popping this in to a 350 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes or until they're golden brown on the edges. Strawberry cookies are out of the oven. They smell incredible. They're going to be super sweet with the strawberries, the bananas. So let's go over points and calories when I got 25 cookies out of the batch. Each cookie is two points on the blue and green plan. And you have to remember that in these cookies is real ingredients. There's no sugar other than what comes naturally from the banana. There's no flour. So these are a great healthy option. And again, two points on blue and green, one point on purple, just because you don't have to count for oats and 89 calories a piece. On my website, I will put the points and calories if you did 16 larger cookies. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Meal Prep. I hope that you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I truly can't wait to eat these all week long. All of my recipes are on my website. I will make sure that is linked at the top of the description box for you, as well as nutrition coaching. Links, discounts to everything I shared with you in today's video, as well as all of my other favorite things. And of course, my Facebook group will all be down in that description box. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And of course, if you're new and you haven't joined this community, we'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Happy Monday, my friends, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.